All right, one thing, uh, which I'll give you a quick update on everything going on, but my main focus right now is I've got a banana tree coming, and it's got to be planted in kind of a fibrous, moisture-holding area. So when I cleaned the coops out the other day, went ahead and stored the hay right, which is, you, you can see, the chicken, well, there you go again. The chickens have made it a choice to dig the living snot out of it. But I'm going to put the, the tree right here so it's got room because the banana tree is going to spread out and grow little pups every year. And this isn't something that you know you have to plant every year. It's going to keep coming back, but it's little pups is what you got to worry about. So I can't have hard ground. I can't have sandy ground. So the biggest thing right now is getting this kind of that hay there kind of buried into the soil and loosen it all up and get the area ready for when that banana tree gets here. Which mine is probably going to be only about four or six inches tall when I get it, but it should begin to shoot up pretty good once it takes root. So like I said, I got a couple days before it gets here, I'm going to go ahead and get this ground ready and get it ready to plant. So let's get that started and then we'll, I'll catch up with what everything else is going on with the garden and of course the crazy chickens and the ducks and the baby chickens and all that mess. So let's get started. things done.
Alright, so that's for the most part ready. Um, while I water the hay down over the ground is that I want to wash all that the nutrients and the chicken manure and the duck manure into the ground and also help break that hay down so you know in the next week when that banana tree or banana pup gets here I'll uh, I'll go ahead and the ground will be ready for me to plant it now I still got I'm gonna have to surround that thing with some uh, some chicken wire till that thing can get on up with a little height and some age onto it otherwise them chickens will tear it out the frame. They steady working all day long. All day long. Oh. See what they did to my my compost pile. Ain't even a pile anymore. <coughs> Alright. The other thing is since we had the weather change and it's staying pretty well warm, well, hot and warm now, is the chickens are laying later in the day. I don't know why, but they are. So we got three late layers. Because I came out and collected eggs this morning. I do every morning to get them out of the way to make sure I don't, you know, don't end up getting snakes, possums, or something else in here to mess with them. But that gives us some late layers right there. But yeah, I think the weather's kind of messing their laying habits up. Alright. Well, we still got the baby chickens. In, well, they ain't babies anymore. They're getting on up there. But we got the baby chicks still in here. Of course, the ducks are still back over in here and there. This little pen. And I don't have too much longer. I can go ahead and get put the baby chicks, well, the, the newer chicks, in over here with the older chicks in their in their coop. As you can see they got plenty of room. But I'm gonna have to put another uh I'm gonna have to put another rooster bar up in there. Give them a place to go and kind of get their place in the coop. Because everybody else has pretty much got their assigned places where they know they go to come nighttime. That's their spot. So I'm gonna have to get the baby chicks a place in there for them to start going. But they gotta get on up in size to where you know that they're equal size or closest to equal size of those other chickens so we don't have any mishaps. But once I can get the baby chicks into there, I can get rid of this, extend the, the duck coop on out and actually put walls up. Um, kind of enclose the, the ducks in a little better and give them a, a, a better coop. But there again, that's got to wait till the baby chicks get on up there in size. All right, so let me take these other late laying eggs in and I'll show you how the garden's doing. By the way, here's the ducks. And of course, the chickens, they're working on the, that pile. So, everybody's happy with their surroundings, I guess. Here's the baby chicks. As you can see, they ain't babies anymore. They run around doing their thing. Now I hear you. As you can see, this duck pool, I cleaned this duck pool yesterday morning. And you see it. I'm gonna have to clean it this afternoon after I get everybody put up. But that's what they do to a duck pool in one day. One day. Starts out perfectly clear. Tell me ducks ain't messy. <laughs> hmm. Alright, so we're in the garden. Um, I was going to show you a couple of things. Here's, of course, where the cucumbers are at. But look right here. There's tomato bushes growing right up on the side over here where the, the cucumbers are at. And I didn't plant them there. They have to be from last year. So, uh, <laughs> didn't expect them, which is fine with me. I didn't have to plant them. But, uh, yeah, I can live with that. All the other tomato bushes are coming out nicely. Um, we do already have some tomatoes on the vine. Of course, our, our peppers are coming out. I'll show you. 
Look at that pepper. That was huge. There's a bell pepper over there. I'm about to go ahead and pick that banana pepper there. Which, truthfully, even with my lettuce, I'd had trouble with aphids. Um, and I saw in this article about spraying the eight, the uh, your your leafy greens down with just a dab of Dawn dishwashing liquid and some mix it up in some water, and for the most part it's worked. Cause see, even like on my peppers, they were they were eating my peppers before, and it's pretty much come to a a withering halt. So that must have worked. So that that's. That little tidbit worked out pretty good for me. Tomato bushes are doing good. Um, actually, we got squash coming out now. You see the squash and the beans over here. The beans I pretty much picked, you know, at least a, a bag full. There's some of them. I can pick a bag full, you know, probably every other day. And I've been picking, steady picking. And they've been doing great. Here, better shot of that. Squash. That's that crook neck squash. It's growing great. It's really doing good this year. And the cucumbers, they've gone gangbusters. Um, we're finally starting to see a lot of bees in there starting to pollinate them, so hopefully them cucumbers there will kick in pretty soon. But, that was the large garden tool. And by the way, this lemon tree, I'm still almost debating on moving this thing once I get that banana tree over there is that lemon tree and moving it over there around that banana tree but I'm kind of scared if I boot that thing up it's gonna kill it so I don't know we'll see all right so the uh, my rosemary and my oregano is still doing great it's doing terrific you can see the oregano is just taking over around that rosemary and the chickens, for the most part, don't they don't they don't seem to bother it. I don't know why, but they, they don't. But now, I don't know what that is. Now in this one, you got the tarragon and the basil. They don't the chickens don't bother. But as you can see, you know before that mint was just growing like crazy. They get hidden in here and just clean that mint slap down to the ground. So they must love that. I mean, they must love that mint like crack. It's crazy. Um, one other thing I'm going to try again this year is I went ahead and got the pineapple. Um, I had two growing last year and I had them over in that area right over there. And uh, they did great. They rooted well. They started growing. They really started growing. And then once that cold weather hit, boom, they died. So I just decided this year I was going to go ahead and put them in a pot. And when the when, when the cold weather starts breaking off real cool, I just take the pineapple and take it inside. That way I, I can keep it growing every year and just increase the pot size as I need it. Um, so, that's pretty much it. Um, the uh, wild blackberry vines are they're coming along. At least they took root, which is I was wondering if they were going to, and they did, so give it you know a couple years we should be doing good with wild blackberries the blueberries were on the bush but the chickens have figured out how to jump up here and up here and they just pick it they stand over it, lean in and pick it so that was pretty much they just i don't know what else to do with that blueberry bush i mean i can only cage it in so much hmm All right, so my hummingbird feeders, they're doing good. I don't get to see this as, as much from the inside because it's kind of behind this wall, but this one over here, I can watch them, and I know they're they're steady drinking out of this. When I have to refill it, it's down, you know, about that much. Here's a swing that Amy gave us. But um, they hang around that one pretty good bit, and I don't really get to see that one out there under the muscadine vine all that, that much either, but I end up having to fill it more too. So apparently they're loving the... The hummingbird feeders but anyway <laughs> all right so that's it for today this is a short sweet to the point um 
Got a lot of projects to do, but I try to keep up to date when I do them. Um, so anyway, that's all that's going on today. But if you got any comments, suggestions, or anything, just put it in the comments below, and I'll get to it as soon as I can. God bless all of you, and hope to see you again next time. Thanks for watching.